Welcome back. Now, haven't we had some amazing big music festivals this summer? You are not kidding, Amy. Tea in the Park, Glastonbury, um, all, an orthodox paradox 2014. An orthodox paradox who? What? Oh, yeah, man. Were you talking about Chris T.T. and the Hood Rats? Come no. on. Micronormous. <laughs> I mean, really know your the, stuff. The monkey poet, actually, I don't. I just read a fly before this link. I can't stand right, festivals. Right, anyhow. It's the smell um, of the toilets. At all these big festivals, there's obviously a lot of catering. So we thought it'd be a great idea to test the latest eco dishwashers. <laughs> Actor, presenter and all-round cheeky chappy Joe Swash is used to dealing with grime thanks to his time on I'm a Celeb. And even back at home, he's no stranger to mud and muck, being a regular on the festival circuit. I've been to all the festivals, from V Festival to Party in the Park, even Glastonbury. But this ain't Glastonbury, this is Glaston Budget. With over 10,000 rockers and ravers, Glaston Budget is the UK's biggest tribute band festival. Backstage, hundreds of hungry rockers get fed in the relative oasis of calm in the VIP area, where Joe would be dishing up... Here. Wanna roll with it? I'm having that. And then swashing up using three of the latest eco-friendly dishwashers. The first machine Joe would be testing was the LG D1454TF, which features a snazzy steam nozzle to remove stubborn stains. The next green machine to clean was the Whirlpool ADPL7470, which recycles water in a dedicated tank. The last machine on review was the Budget Beko DSFN 6839W. It's the cheapest of the three machines on test, so we were keen to see how it would compare. But before Joe could feed these very hungry machines, he would have to feed some very hungry and famous mouths. What would you like? A little bit of pasta, a little bit of potato salad? I want it all and I want it now. You greedy git. Once the famous fakers had worked their way through dinner, they left Joe with a very real stack of dirty dishes and he had one vision to get them clean. First to get loaded at this festival was the LG. It looks very nice from the outside and there's a few features that it's got. Like this one here, for instance, it says here, the smart diagnosis. You simply dial customer services, place your phone next to the machine and the tone the dishwasher makes explains the fault. So it's like a dishwasher doctor. Ridiculous. Down here we've got these jets. Now these jets are a new feature. What they do is you shoot out steam onto the dishes. So if you've got like a plate and it's got a bit of dried egg on there, you stick it next to the steamer, wallop! It loosens it up. I can go to bed and have a nice night's sleep without thinking about, oh, I'm going to scrape the egg off in the morning. Perfect. All of our dishwashers were set to the eco cycle, which uses less electricity and water by cleaning at a lower temperature for a longer time. Once the LG was fully loaded, it was onto the Whirlpool. It looks quite similar to the LG, you know, that sort of brushed metal, kind of contemporary sort of look, which is good. It can sense when the water's dirty, it'll use a little bit more water. If it's not so dirty, it'll hold back on the water, saving more water, being more economically friendly, cheaper for you, good for the polar bears. There you go. And there was still some crusty crockery left over for the Becco. It's got no real... No real flair from the outside. You wouldn't look at it and think, yeah, I like that dishwasher. It's got the little tray up here. See that? For your knives and forks. But, you know, if you don't like that, if you're a traditionist like myself and you like your knives and forks at the bottom, you've got one of these as well. So the thought of everything. It hasn't got all the functions like the diagnostics, the sensors. But do you want that with a dishwasher? The LG's eco cycle takes 3 hours 45 minutes, the Whirlpool 3 hours 50 minutes and the Beko the least at 2 hours 47 minutes. Plenty of time for Joe to catch a few bands. We're going to listen to some music fellas, enjoy the festival, I love my job. Hello everyone, you alright? Yeah, who loves dishwashers? While the festival goers were getting muddier, Joe's plates were hopefully cleaning up a treat, but would any of them put on a star performance? First up for inspection, the LG. Let's have a little look. Firstly, there's not a great smell coming from it. Plate seems to be clean, it's done a job. I'll definitely give this another wash before I eat off of it. It just doesn't smell too good. Just a couple of smudges, but, you know, you can't complain. You can see here, Still some spaghetti on the spoon. So for me, the fact that the knives and forks weren't clean, that the glasses were a little bit smudged and it smelled a little bit funky, was disappointing for me. 
Next on centre stage was the Whirlpool. OK, so let's see how this one's performed. Look at that. Nice and clean. Look, I can even see myself in that spoon. Beautiful. I'm going to do a little sniff test. Yeah, that don't smell too bad. There's a lot less smudging going on in there. Yep, that's a good clean glass. So I wouldn't say I was surprised with the Whirlpool, but it done a good job. And finally, the Becco. Yeah, this one, it's, it smells fresh. I'll definitely eat my food off one of these plates. Let's have a look, see if it's cleaned them properly. Yeah, the plates and the bowls, they seem to be nice and clean. Let's have a look at the cutlery. OK. Yeah, I mean, for the budget dishwasher, I've got to tell you, this one has performed quite well. I mean, everything seems to be clean. And the glasses, I've got to tell you, the glasses probably look cleaner than any of the other machines. In Joe's eyes, there was only one headline act. The Beko is a bog-standard dishwasher, but it does what you want it to do. And that's what you want the dishwasher for, to clean your dishes, not to talk to you, not to talk to the doctor and say what's wrong with him, not to have jets coming out of it. I just want a dishwasher. That's what the Beko was. 